Alright guys, I'm back with my third PBR Wi-Fi battle for today, and there's only about two and a half hours left of the day, and I'm going to actually narrate a couple more, but uh, we'll get there when we get there. So I'm going to start with a Snorlax, and they start with Tauros. This is my Adamant Choice Band Snorlax with uh, Mega Kick, which everybody loves to see. But uh, I don't like the odds of going up against the Tauros right now, especially since I was intimidated. Oh, excuse me, otherwise uh, I wouldn't really care too much, but uh, I have to call it back, and I'm going to send Sableye out, because I know Sableye could take whatever Tauros throws at it. It ends up going for a Stone It, oh no, it goes for Earthquake. Uh, no idea why it went for Earthquake, but uh, as you can see, it does nothing to Sableye, because Sableye's even though its stats don't look that great, it is a pretty good physical wall if used correctly. So, this turn I'm going to go for, I believe, the Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. And uh, he's going to go for a Stone Age this turn, probably hoping for a critical hit. He's not going to get it, however, and as you can see, that does poor damage to uh, Sableye. I'm going to hit with the Will-O-Wisp, and that's going to burn the Tauros, cutting its attack and allowing me to uh, set up here. Now, I was actually predicting the switch into Garchomp because every person that I've seen with a Garchomp usually brings it on, so I actually went for the Will-O-Wisp again, which now that I think about it was pretty careless. Well, actually, no. It it could be careless, or it could be a good play. Well, considering how much damage Tauros was doing, uh, going for the Will-O-Wisp uh, was pretty safe. But uh, he didn't switch, he decided to go for Earthquake, and basically that was just a waste of a turn, which I could have used to Calm Mind or Attack. But the burn is wearing him off, so there's really not too much to worry about. I'm going to recover this turn, since Tauros isn't doing squat to me. He's going to go for another Stone Edge, and he's really trying to go for that crit, but he's not going to get it. And as you can see, Stone Edge does even poorer damage than before. I get Recover off, I get most of my life back. Now I'm going to start setting up the Calm Mines. I wanted to Will-O-Wisp this turn, but I didn't want to take the chance of him switching out again, or not switching out, staying in again and just wasting a turn, so I decided to go for that Calm Mind, and he ends up switching out this turn, and he's going to go into a Weavile. Now, if uh, I sound a little different, I'm chewing on a toothpick right now, so... Anyway, that's uh, that's way off topic. Uh, I'm going to go for the Calm Mind, which is going to raise my special attack and defense. Now, the only move I have is Dark Pulse, which of course has uh, little effect on Weavile. But uh, I wanted to set up uh, Calm Minds here to uh, get as much damage as possible. He's going to go for Swords Dance. And that Weavile is going to become a major threat if I do not burn it now. So I'm actually going to... Well, I have no choice but to Calm Mind this turn because that's the move I chose. But I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp this turn and hope to hit him because Will-O-Wisp can sometimes be inaccurate. And if it does miss that Weavile, chances are I'm going to be swept. 
especially since I haven't attacked yet and it may have a focus sash. So he's gonna go for a second sword stance. He's getting a little cocky here. He was probably predicting the uh, the Will O' Wisp and wanted more power. But uh, I connect with Will O' Wisp after his sword stance, so I'm going to cut that attack in half. Now, even though Weavile is burned. After two sword stances, it's still strong enough to two-hit knock out my Sableye. I got cocky here, thinking that after the burn, I was going to have enough power to take the hits. So I went for a Calm Mind. That was one of the biggest mistakes I could make. He went for Ice Punch. After two sword stances and stab, it does over half, leaving me with only a fourth of my life. Which wasted uh, all the Calm Minds I just used. And leaves me at a serious uh, a serious disadvantage with Sableye. At this point, I cannot use Sableye for anything anymore. And there's no point in really switching it out, because I don't know his third Pokemon, and if his third Pokemon can outspeed me and do enough damage, it's going to pretty much knock it out. So I'm leaving Sableye in. I'm just going to go for a, I believe, Recover. Yeah, I go for a Recover, though... Ice Punch's chances of missing are slim to none, if it misses at all. The only way it probably misses is if my evasion was risen or if I was using an item. But he hits me with Ice Punch, Sableye's not going to be able to take it, and he goes down. So, luckily the burn is just eating away at him. I'm going to go into my Infernape now. Infernape is, uh my special attacker. This is one of those basic Infernapes. Only difference is I put Heat Wave on it so that I could hit both Pokemon in doubles. But, um, Weavile's defenses are low enough for a uh, Vacuum Wave, so I'm gonna go for it. The only way it would not knock out is if it missed, but the chances of that happening are none and none. So, I hit it with Vacuum Wave. That takes down whatever life it had and the Weavile goes down. So, the next Pokemon that he's going to go into is Tauros. He's gonna send Tauros back out. After how much burn damage Tauros has taken, my, uh, Vacuum Wave should be enough to take out the Tauros as well. There's no need to nasty plot, and I want to save my Focus Sash, so the best thing to do is uh, Vacuum Wave. So I'm going to hit it of course with Vacuum Wave, and that's going to be enough to take out that Tauros. So he has one Pokemon left that I do not know about, and it turns out to be... what was it? What was his second... I mean, what was his last Pokemon? Oh, it was a Gengar. So, chances of uh, Gengar carrying Hypnosis are very high and chances of it being timid are high. So I'm gonna actually go for the heat wave knowing that I have a sash and hoping he doesn't put me to sleep. And it turns out I go first. So I don't know how this Gengar is EV'd. My heat wave does over half leaving him with about a fourth of hit points. He's gonna go for shadow ball. That leaves me at about a fourth. And unless he's carrying sucker punch it's pretty much over at this point because his Gengar can't outspeed excuse me, outspeed my ape, and unless he's got a Custap and he's carrying Hypnosis, it's pretty much over. But anyway, I hit him with Heat Wave, that's going to finish the Gengar off. So that's the end of this battle, guys, and I will see you next battle.